I would like I would like to return to what has been said by Ria Timoshenko that the problem of Ukraine is not a local problem. It's a problem much wi of wider scope. That reminds me that our debate before we entered NATO, the debate on which we raised and tried to convince our partners why we should actually be admitted to NATO. And one of our arguments was more or less this. We said, Poland is not a tiny country. When there will be a small problem, we will handle it. We don't need NATO for that. But if a problem is of such a magnitude that Poland will lose its independence and will become another satellite of well known which country, then the problem will not end. The problem will be different kinds and it is better to confront with this problem with Poland 600 kilometers east of Berlin than without Poland 60 kilometers east of Berlin. And that's why I think, and we think in Poland, that the future of European security is now this being decided on Don. That brings us to the problem of having strong army. Russian king Frederick the Great at the 18th century said that diplomacy without army is like music without instruments. Clearly, the, uh, the final outcome will be based on diplomacy, but this diplomacy must be backed by strong deterrence. Because there is also a problem of not having sort of another, another challenge, which was mentioned by Mr. Vasilienko, uh, another, another act of aggression. That's why I personally do not understand why there are some reservations against delivery of arms to the to Ukrainian army. Because those who say that you know, the delivery of arms to Ukrainian army 
may increase the chances of a conflict is a very ridiculous logic. Following this logic, we can come to an absurd that it is better for the stability of the system according to this logic if Ukrainian would have no army at all. So what to do to increase this deterrence factor? The, as far as the Ukrainian army is concerned. I think we can draw certain, certain inspiration from the experience and memories of the Second World War. During the war, the United States was for a very long time not a fighting country, was not in the, in the, in the coalition. But the United States activated a program Lend-Lease to Great Britain. It was based on, this, on the following argument, that if a house of your neighbor is on fire and the neighbor comes to you and asks for a house to fight this, this fire, you don't ask the neighbor how much he is going to pay and he will pay for, for, the, for this delivery. You just give him this, this house. So a declaration that in a situation when there will be a, a imminent sort of outburst of hostilities, another act of aggression on the side of Russia, I think that a declaration from NATO countries to provide Ukraine with the deliveries of arms, of other, of other, of other material would be extremely important. And providing also with satellite intelligence and other intelligence. It would be very much like what the U.S. did to Israel during the, 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 the Yom Kippur War and wars before. And finally, when I entered this building, I simply recall that two years ago in Warsaw we have NATO summit which took place on Warsaw football stadium.
This Pope Warsaw Stadium was built exactly like this one for European Championship. So I do hope that not in the very distant future NATO Summit will be here. Thank you.